Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the scientist Sergei Winogradsky who is known as the founder of soil microbiology. So here in this video we are going to discuss about his contribution to microbiology and more specifically in soil microbiology. That's why he is known as the founder of soil microbiology. Okay, So let's discuss about, about his contributions. So these are the area of contributions of Winogradsky. So that are the nitrification, isolation of nitrogen fixing bacterium, chemolithotropy and Winogradsky column. So all these topics we will discuss one by one in our later slide. Okay. So at first the nitrification. So he isolated pure cultures of nitrifying bacteria and demonstrated the process of nitrification. So what is the process of nitrification? So nitrification means the oxidation of ammonia, the oxidation of ammonia to nitrite and from nitrite to nitrate. So this, uh, this is the nitrification process and this nitrifying bacteria, this nitrifying bacteria oxidize the ammonia to nitrite at first and then they convert this nitrite to nitrate. Okay, and ultimately this nitrogenous compound converted to elemental nitrogen and they free to the environment or free to the air. So, so what is the role of this nitrification and what is the nitrogen cycle? So what is the nitrogen cycle? So this nitrogen cycle means here the night at first the nitrogen fixing bacteria, this nitrogen fixing bacteria fix this elemental nitrogen as a ammonia okay and then this ammonia is converted to oxidized to nitrite by this nitrifying bacteria and then then this another nitrifying bacteria convert this nitrite to nitrate okay and ultimately this nitrogenous compound is converted to elemental nitrogen by this nitrifying denitrifying bacteria to the air this elemental nitrogen ultimately converted uh, converted to the elemental uh, nitrogen free to the air or environment so in this way the nitrogen cycle is maintained in the environment and here the role of this nitrification nitrifying bacteria is to oxidize this ammonia to nitrate and nitrate okay so this is the role of nitrifying bacteria and this is the nitrification which is discovered or which is demonstrated by Winogradsky. So this is his contribution in nitrification technique and in nitrogen cycle. Okay. So the next thing is the isolation of nitrogen fixing bacterium. So Winogradsky isolated the first nitrogen fixing bacterium that is the anaerobic Clostridium pasturianum. Okay. And using enrichment culture technique and de he developed the concept of bacterial nitrogen fixation so he was the first person who isolated the first nitrogen fixing bacterium and also he developed the concept that how this night how this bacteria uh, how this bacteria fix the elemental nitrogen to ammonia so he described this bacterial nitrogen fixation technique and he was if uh, isolate the fast nitrogen fixing bacteria okay so the next thing is chemolithotropy so what is the chemolithotropy so he developed the concept of chemolithotropy and chemolithotropy means the organisms which organisms use chemical compounds or chemical reactions are used as a energy source so in phototropy we know that the light energy is used as a energy source okay so light is used as an energy source in phototropy but in chemolithotropy the chemical compounds or chemical reactions are used as an energy source okay so this concept is developed by Winogradsky and the next thing is Winogradsky column Winogradsky invented the Winogradsky column which is a simple device for culturing and studying the diversity of microorganisms. So what is Winogradsky column? We will know here. So this is a Winogradsky column. 
suppose this is the Winogradsky column and here and here Winogradsky show the whole a whole microbial ecosystem here the whole microbial ecosystem is present and it is prepared by adding the pond sediment and the water to this column so how it works so here in the uh, the upper portion most upper portion the air is present so the, the in this portion the aerobic zone is present so depending on the different zone that is the aerobic zone micro aerobic zone that is the less aerobic zone aerobic anaerobic zone more anaerobic zone so depending on this different zone different type of microorganisms will grow in the aerobic zone the aerobic microorganisms can grow and in anaerobic condition the anaerobic microorganisms can grow so depending on this different zone different types of microorganisms can grow in this single column so here the whole microbial ecosystem is present so this process this column is developed by Winogradsky okay and here this the microorganisms can take their nutrients or take the nutrition by the supplemented supplemented ingredients such as sodium sulfate calcium carbonate and cellulose are added to this column for the nutrition of those bacteria to grow okay so this is the whole process of Winogradsky column and all, these are the all contributions of Winogradsky to microbiology and more specifically to soil microbiology. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.